I have the Samsung Galaxy S10 here, and today I'm going to show you how to reset any Bluetooth data to hopefully help fix any type of Bluetooth connectivity issues that you're currently having with your device. Now I have done a tutorial that shows you how to reset things like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and mobile data and that feature is built into Samsung's operating system and it's just a one-time quick reset of the connect connections that your device has that in and of itself does help a lot of people so I certainly suggest that you try that option first I'll have that linked in the full tutorial on my website which you will find linked in the video description below but if you're only having Bluetooth connection issues or if you have tried the other method and Bluetooth still is not working then I want to show you a another method that we can go through that has been proven to be even better to help fix any Bluetooth connection issues. Now what you want to do is you want to open up the settings application and we're just going to scroll down a bit till we get to the apps option. So we're going to go ahead and tap on apps and now we're going to look here at the top right and tap on the three dot menu and then we're going to tap on the show system apps option. Now we need to do that because we need to make this Bluetooth application appear. This used to be called Bluetooth service in recent versions of Samsung's software and Android in general it's just been renamed to Bluetooth and there are going to be other Bluetooth op, um, apps here but we want to focus on this specific one with the Bluetooth the standard Bluetooth logo so we're just going to tap on that and then we're going to tap on force stop and we're just going to force stop it just to eliminate any connections that the device has then we're going to tap on storage and we're going to both clear the cache and then clear the data. So you can see that this Bluetooth share service has some information stored in it. So we're just going to clear the cache and then we're going to clear the data. When you tap the clear data, you're going to see a prompt there at the bottom. Just tap on OK. Once that's done, it's a good recommend, recommendation to just go ahead and restart the smartphone. This will allow Android to reset the Bluetooth module. It will get rid of any type of stored data that the device has in regards to Bluetooth. And then from here, you can go in and you can pair your Galaxy S10, Galaxy S10e, or Galaxy S10 Plus to your Bluetooth device again. The pairing process is the same just like it was the first time. All we have done is reset and deleted any potentially harmful data or corrupt data or incomplete data, any type of data that the Bluetooth application service has stored and once that data is flushed and erased then we can pair our Bluetooth devices again and usually that fixes it. It's not a like this is not guaranteed to fix all Bluetooth connectivity issues but if it is software related then this method should fix that type of issue. Now if you continue to have Bluetooth connection issues with your Galaxy S10 series device, there is either some kind of issue with the Bluetooth device itself, some kind of incompatibility issue with blue the Bluetooth module in the Galaxy S10 and your Bluetooth device, or it may be a hardware related issue that you will need to get your Galaxy S10 replaced in order to fix.